What's up everybody? It's been a minute and I'm just gonna do a uh, little flower farm tour here. I just harvested some out of the garden up by the house and now I'm gonna try to harvest a few down here at the flower patch and hopefully sell to a florist this week. I've sold a few bunches so far. I've had a few you picks. Unfortunately, we had to cancel our photo shoot yesterday because of the weather. It rained, which was great. I'll take the rain all day, every day. Um, but we didn't get to do any photos. We just had a few, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, I'll show you around the flower patch a little bit and uh, see what you think. All right. So this is the uh, perennial bed. It's looking a little rough. Not a ton of perennials. These are the dahlias, which have actually bloomed. But uh, as you can see, the bugs get to them before I do. And I was just down here uh, a couple days ago. I don't recall what this is, but this is a thing. This is something that's a perennial. Dahlias. There's some yarrow hiding over here. So that is a perennial. And this I started from seed. So all in all, it looks pretty darn good. That's a peony. I'm going to get some more dug up pretty soon. Um, you can see the milkweed. And then basil. That's obviously not perennial. But actually, this is the best looking patch of basil that I have. So I don't think I'll be getting any dahlias right now and then if you come this way so this is my little little flag fence and you can see some color over there and some color over here so everything is looking not too bad so here we have the love lies bleeding uh, Jesse's little sister, Samantha, was here, and she called it the sad flower. And I'd have to agree. It looks, I mean, love lies bleeding sounds pretty, pretty sad. Some celosia looking good. There's some of the red celosia. More love lies kind of bending over there. We've got a few little cosmos in this patch. There's a few over there starting to die out. So that was the first patch, and as you can see... It's starting to die out. Um, I mowed off the sunflowers that were right there and then there's some orange cosmos still going. Some more cosmos. And then this is kind of the main zinnia patch. And you can see it's still going pretty good. Definitely need to go down through and deadhead, which is what I'm here for. I'm gonna cut and deadhead some more cosmos. Oh. There, Mr. Bumblebee. Oh, yeah, there's a few bumblebees in here. Look at them go. Uh, and there's the orange cosmos, and then there's just a few of the uh, zinnias there. Some straw flowers, which is kind of what I think that is over there. Not a perennial, but cold hardy annual. Those look good. There's some snapdragons hiding down there. There's some snapdragons over there too. Um, they don't do so well in the heat, uh, but they'll kind of revive in the cool weather. More straw flower. Oh snap, look at this. This is the patch that Melissa and I planted in hopes that I would get some blooms before the first frost. And look at that. That is much smaller than that. I don't know what kind these are, but I'm super excited because look at you and look at you. Ah, oh, that's awesome. And then these are the sunflowers that we planted. So I might, I might get, I might get a few. I don't see, I'm not showing any color yet. Quite. 
Oh, I bet I know this is going to be a dark one. Look at that foliage. It's looking a little darker. Oh, are you a chocolate? Maybe. So that's exciting. There's some grasshoppers doing the dirty. This patch of sunflowers is pretty well done. You can see it's pretty well toasted. There's some more snapdragons hiding in there. Are you, you're not a snapdragon. Oh my gosh, is this lime basil? Oh, I gotta smell it. Oh my God, it is. That is definitely a citrus basil. Where have you been? Right here in front of my face. And I didn't know it was there. That's so funny. We've had a lot of cool weather and so things just start to change with cool weather and things pop up. Oh, it smells so good that you thought we're done and things come back and that's so funny. Now I feel like I need to, I need to harvest that for sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just cannot believe that. These freaking weeds, this crap, I just hate so much. Oh, that is so funny. How, where have I been? Oh, oh my gosh. That is just awesome. I'm so excited that I found that. That is definitely Snapdragon right there. And this is weeds, which is kind of what I thought was going on here. Anyway, like I was saying, this patch is pretty much done. I mean... There's still a few coming, you can kind of see, but the bugs are kind of taking it over. I just don't think I'm going to get a lot of usable blooms out of that. Now this is kind of neat. I haven't cut any of this. Um, I really don't know much about it as a cut flower, but Melissa bought me the seeds last year and I couldn't say it for the longest time. I was calling it Nicotinia it looks like nicotine and then I heard um Nicole talk about Nicotiana and I was like ah that's what I've got so it's really pretty it's kind of this that's got a bug kind of this chocolate flower that's man the cucumber beetles must really like it but it's it's really pretty so I like it but I'm not really using it, and that's okay. Now look at these guys. Woo. So I have a theory why this patch of Cosmos looks so good. So early on, I uh, wasn't paying any attention and I was mowing, and I mowed right over this patch because it's only like a partial patch and I wasn't paying attention. And I think that I cut these guys just as they were getting tall. And so that's basically um, pinching them. I basically pinched them unintentionally. So there's some really pretty ones in here. Oh, there's a monarch. Monarch butterfly, very cool. So these guys, like, we still got a lot of buds here. They're definitely a late season. And then more of the milkweed that the butterflies like. So that's very cool. These sunflowers, pretty much toast. I think all toast, actually. Yeah, not, not a lot of color left there. And then over there is the supposed perennial patch. So yeah, that's what we got going on here. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. I would say... All things considered, pretty successful year with the flower farm experiment. So we proved the concept. We can grow flowers down here. It works. Ooh, I'm getting bit. Um, it wasn't quite the you pick that I had pictured in my mind, but that's okay because I was working two jobs for the majority of the summer. And that was never part of the plan. Um, but I proved it. Like, I can do it. 
flowers can grow down here. I can do it even better next year because I've learned a lot. I've got more weed fabric that I can use. I don't think I'm going to till next year. Um, I've got an appointment in to get a hydrant out here. That's going to be completely necessary because I lost some plants that I did not plan on losing. Um, the sunflowers and the cosmos, the zinnias, they, they all survived for the most part. I did have some seed, uh, some transplants that I put in that did not make it because it got so dry so fast. We had a terrible drought this summer. Um, and just having a hydrant down here just makes sense. Or else I'm hauling water back and forth and it just doesn't get done. Uh, I lost a lot of perennials that I didn't plan to lose. Uh, Melissa bought me some peonies and unfortunately I don't think they're going to make it and that's all on me. Like I had to bring water down here. I didn't get on top of it. And you know, I was working two jobs this summer, which was really never part of the plan. And so I have some disappointments, but overall I'm really happy with the way things turned out. And I think next year is just going to be better than ever. Uh, I do have one annual here, that, <laughs> annual perennial that that survived, surprisingly. I don't really recall what it is. It looks like some sort of lavender. I'll show you that real quick. This guy right here, doesn't that look like some sort of lavender? I'm gonna smell you. Yeah, that kind of has a lavender scent to it. Come here. Man, all I can smell is that basil. Yeah, that's kind of hard to smell. So Josie has been <laughs> helping me harvest mostly. She's just doing the sniffing. And I've been harvesting. And this is what I got. There you go. Some zinnias, cosmos, lots of basil. Unfortunately, like I showed... That's nice. Like I showed you, the sunflowers are pretty much done. Um, if I had been secession planting um, like I wanted to, I'd still have plenty. And which sucks because that's definitely something that my florist is interested in. But the zinnias look good and hopefully we'll get a few more sunflowers before the, the frost hits. But I think that's all. You got to add anything, Josie? Josie is my Tibetan Mastiff Great Pyrenees mix that I got from my mom. My mom started raising them. So she is a very good girl. She's training to be our next kind of farm dog to help Luna out. And as far as puppies go, she's pretty calm. So anyway, I'll wrap it up here and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.